good morning to all in this class we are going to discuss plane progressive wave the equation with its solution first we'll see what is plane progressive wave a plane progressive wave is the simplest wave in which the particles of medium perform simple harmonic motion now we'll see the explanation consider this is an wave which has a displacement and which propagates in a direction of x it originates from o and it travels towards x direction here the points a b c d and all are position of the particles as the wave propagates all the particles begins to vibrate with its mean position the curve which are joining these points represents the plane progressive wave that is the wave 0 to l is an progressive wave now we'll see the displacement at o here the displacement of the particle at o is y is equal to a sin omega t where y is the displacement at time t a is amplitude of the wave omega is angular frequency and t is time taken we have we can substitute the angular frequency value that is omega is equal to 2 pi by t that is t is time period by substituting the value we get y is equal to a sin 2 pi by t into t where equation number 3 is displacement of the particle at o now we can see displacement at p position that is center position here consider a particle at p position now we are taking x is a distance of the particle from the position o so t is equal to x by v is the time to reach the particle p from the original value it means then we have a time delay of x by v so the equation that is equation number 1 becomes y is equal to a sin instead of omega we have 2 pi by t and t becomes t minus xv so the displacement at p is equal to y is a sin 2 pi by t t minus xv this is the displacement at p position by simplifying this we get y is equal to a sin 2 pi by lambda vt minus x where y is displacement of particle a is amplitude lambda is frequency of the particle v is velocity t time taken and x is along the distance traveled now we'll see the particle velocity particle velocity is defined as the rate of change of displacement that is y with respect to time that is dy by dt is particle velocity differentiate the above equation we get dy by dt is equal to a cos 2 pi by lambda vt minus x into 2 pi nu by lambda here the particle velocity is maximum when cos value 2 pi by lambda vt minus x is 1 so the above equation becomes dy by dt is equal to 2a pi nu divided by lambda here we can differentiate the above equation with respect to x that is dy by dx is equal to a cos 2 pi by lambda vt minus x into minus 2 by by lambda here 2 dy by dx dt is maximum when cos 2 pi by lambda v minus x is 1 so the above equation becomes dy by dt is equal to minus v into dy by dt here the particle velocity is the product of wave velocity and slope of the displacement now we'll see the differential equation of a wave function that is plane progressive wave function take the mean equation and differentiate with respect to x so we get d squared y by dx squared is equal to minus a sin 2 pi by lambda vt minus x into 2 pi by lambda squared here we are going to differentiate with respect to t that is time d squared y by dt squared is equal to minus a sin 2 pi by lambda vt minus x into 2 pi by lambda squared into nu squared comparing this above equation that is 11 and 12th equation the left hand sides are 
right hand signs are equal so d squared y by d t squared is equal to v squared into d squared y by d x squared this is the differential equation of the plane progressive wave in this we can we have seen already plane progressive wave with the differential equations